Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser, Skilled on How Are You, My Dear Learners. In this video, I'm going to share how to extract meta analysis data using free tools. And also, I'm going to share the exciting news about how to learn meta analysis, classical and Bayesian, both methodologies from me. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. My dear learners, the first tool that I'm going to talk about is the tabula. It's a very easy and you can use it for free because it's an open source platform and all you have to do, go to the tabula and download the software. If you are using Windows, download it or Mac. It has a GitHub version as well. Once you download it, the software will allow you to input your data, especially for the articles that you are downloading for meta-analysis to extract the data okay so you can see that my template about help source code my files so if i would like to go and browse one of the article from my uh, files if i go there you will find that there are so many articles that i have downloaded the topic is inflation and economic growth i am going to find out whether there is a correlation between these two important variables macroeconomic variables so let's see one of these article that I would like to import using this particular software and let me see what type of data that it can extract from this particular article. So the article is about the inflation and economic growth and also this software can upload all the tabular data very easily. You can see here that this is the information you can see this is the data set that you have to do just click this table and then click this one and you can see that all the preview of extracted tabular data are already here you can see that all this data set from this particular table and now you can easily download this information by csv json zip script once you click the csv click the export and you can see that the data set is already downloaded in a table file now you can see all this information about this table, the one that I just showed you in the PDF file is already uploaded. So you can see that the dependent variable, independent variable, all this information, R square values of everything are already here. Based on this information, you can decide which data that you want to keep it for your meta-analysis extraction. So this is a fantastic platform. I want you to use it. And you can see the windows you have once you download it, you it will show you something like this tabula authors license readme. You can see tabula application form. Double click this application, it will open up the tabula file like this. And next time you go to the my files, you will see that the files are already listed in imported PDFs. You can extract data very easily for your meta analysis so you can use one by one pdf file upload it and then extract data keep the data that you want for your next meta analysis that way you can easily extract the data for your meta analysis there is no need for paying any software or any other things in your um, in your other paid version of the ai or any other paid version of the platform it is completely free you can use it now one one other thing that i would like to share with you is called the web plot you can see the web plot digitalizer web plot is a web-based utility to extract data from the images of charts now the tabula cannot extract data if the pdf file is an image file okay it is if it is a text file yes it can extract the data but if it is an image file or once one you see that the image scanned and then uploaded as a pdf in that case it cannot be extract data from the pdf okay so in my opinion you can use this web plot digitalizer you see web plot digitalizer is a web-based utility to extract data from images of charts it can also be used to make simple menu measurement in images. So you can see that all this information are given very nicely and the installation guide also given for this web dot uh, web plot the digitalizer. You can use this for extracting data from images very easily. 
one other thing that i would like to share with you is a swift review this is also one of the best platform where you can extract that data for meta analysis and literature review so you can see that this is the platform you can see the home uh, you can download it and once you download it this is the interface of swift review you can go to the file load the project or import from hero projects to see how what type of data that you can download from there so that is also very important for you you can use the swift review very easily for your extracting data for literature review and meta analysis and this is also completely open source and free one more thing that i would like to share with you in my ssdrf academy especially one of the courses that i am taking is called the meta analysis now these are the courses that i was talking about is the meta analysis for basic to advanced using classical and bayesian meta analysis then we have published in fast scopus journals in six classes i will share whatever knowledge i have for publishing your article in six days and then also you can learn statistical methodology with software for using different type of methodological application in your research article now my dear learners one thing you need to remember that without knowing the proper methodology and data analysis the ai is not going to help you every time because you have to pay a lot of money for ai and there is a limitation for using ai so if you know the software and also how to do the data analysis for meta analysis in that case you can do it for free for very easily for your career as well so i hope this video is useful for you and you will contact me and i will of course keep in touch with you and use this tabulo and scholarly web plot these softwares for free and also do your meta analysis if you need any help of course you can comment in the video description box and check the whatsapp number to contact with me thank you so much my dear learners i will see you in the next tutorial bye bye